When New England was first colonized, much of the architecture there reflected the small town homes and country cottages people had left behind in England. And when New Englanders started moving to New York State in the early 1800s, they brought their architecture with them. The typical New England colonial home is plain, stark, and functional on the outside, but often surprisingly elaborate inside. Symmetry of form and proportion is important, so there are usually the same number of windows on either side of a central door, with the upstairs windows being smaller. There is a chimney at the very center of the house, which helps support the frame of the building while servicing many fireplaces, including the kitchen fireplace and brick oven. While the stairs have a small landing or passage, the house has no hallways. Instead, each room is interconnected, allowing for a very open flow from room to room. Here in the village, a fine example of the New England colonial style is the Humphrey House, originally built in 1797 in Lima, New York. It would have fit right in on a New England town square or green. It would also have looked right at home in Lima, which was a small beacon of civilization in the 1790s, with a store, school, inn, sawmill, gristmill, and religious society. Even so, frame houses like the Humphrey House may well have stood out among all the log homes that were still common in the area. In fact, log houses were built in the Genesee country at least until the 1840s.